Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're back with another RPG M RPG Maker MV tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to have an enemy drop more than three items and also another way to just get loot. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is uh, a, a plugin from hemiworks.com slash mv dash plugins. I don't know if you know, uh, you guys know about this uh, this plugin author or coder but uh, he or she has done a lot of RPG Maker VXA scripts and now they're making MV plugins these are the ones that there are currently up uh, my favorites are the common event queue and the battle weather so like if it's raining out in in your world and you get attacked you notice in, in the battle screen it's no longer raining kinda of breaks immersion so the battle weather uh, lets you keep that but anyway uh, for this one, we're going to go to Common Event Queue and uh, download this one. Right click that, save that link in your game folder. If you don't know where to save it, you can go to MV, go to your game, <clears throat> and then open folder. And then you can see JS Plugins and save it right in there. Once you've got that saved, you're going to open it, or you're going to open your plugin manager. You're going to double click a free space and then select on it the Common Event Queue. Once you have that activated, what we're going to do is go into our database and then we're going to create an item and we're going to call it treasure chest or whatever you like give that a little graphic this uh, this chest contains three random items so we're going to apply actually set consumable yes uh, occasion only from the menu doesn't need any scope it's a regular item uh, price is up to you everything else you can leave the same apply that go over to common events call this one treasure chest control variables which will be on tab one select a random number so we're just selecting a, a free slot and calling it treasure chest and then we're going to set this to a random number between one and the number of items you want it to have the number of different items you want to be available we'll just say five for now um, then you select new uh, actually we can throw a graphic up here so let's show animation on tab two and then we'll just pick a random one that one hit under two okay and then we're gonna go um, conditional branch so tab one conditional branch if the variable go to your treasure chest variable is equal to one then do this we're going to change items and we're gonna get a potion and we're gonna say you found a potion alright then we're gonna copy this and paste it underneath we're gonna edit the conditional to say number two then we're gonna change the items to say high potion we're gonna edit the text to say you found a Hello Potion. Copy this, paste that, edit that to say three, change this to a full potion, edit this to say you found a full potion. Copy that, paste this, <clears throat> say four, uh, change items to whatever items you want, magic water. Change this to say you found a magic water. Copy that, paste that, edit this, number five, no disassemble. Um, select a new item, stimulant, change to stimulant. Alright, so now we've got five different items. So it's a real simple common event. It's going to just roll a random number between one to five. And then it's going to show an animation and then it's going to give you an item and inform the player that they've got that item. Um, now we've got the common event created. Let's go back to our treasure chest item and let's uh, call on that common event. Now if you can't get that plugin or you don't feel like getting that plugin, you can do it just like that and it'll just give you one random item. But if you want it to give three, install that plugin really quickly, and then you can call on multiple common events in the same time. Um, it's 
it's kind of weird that it doesn't let you m call on multiple common events without the plugin. I figured that would be a, a built-in feature, but it doesn't. If you don't have that plugin and you have it set up like this, it'll only call on the last common event that's in, uh, in the effects window. So even if you had a hundred common events, it'd only call on one, unless you have the plugin, in which case it would call all on one. All it would call on all 100. Ugh. Now I just need to learn how to talk. Okay, so now that we've got our item treasure chest, if we want to um, have an enemy drop multiple items, including all the items in that coffer, all we do is make an enemy and assign that to the drop. So when we beat the enemy, we get the treasure chest, and then we can use that item to get multiple items. So to save time, I'll just put it in a chest. And then we'll get one of these treasure chests. Save that real quick. Hit the play button. New game. All right. It said ancient copper, but it's actually a treasure copper. And let's use it. Use it. You found a full potion. You found a magic water. You found a magic water. There we go. Three random items of our set list of items. Uh, and we would have got all three of these items from one drop uh, from uh, an, an enemy. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully this was informative and it gave you an idea on how to make this script, this little event, common event thing, work uh, maybe in a better way for your game. Um, I'll show you one quick thing uh, that I've kind of gone to the extreme with this idea. I've made a, a random loot system called Drifty's Random Loot and it's got 154 items right now but uh, I've got all kinds of different stuff in here and uh, when you open an ancient coffer you have a chance to get any of these 154 different items so I'll show you that really really quickly edit that to say ancient coffer and let's just get 10 of them see 10 random things that we're gonna get save that let's hit play new game all right, we got 10 ancient coffers. This time it's just going to be one item per chest because it could be any item and it, some of them are really, really good items. So, Oh, we got a giant stinger. That's not a really, really good item. That's a, some junk crafting stuff. Holy tablet plus 10. That gives 10 to a skill level. A wind shard. Another crafting thing. Another tablet. Ring of Power, that's really good. A Wind Cluster. Yeah, this is just showing a few of the items that I've created. Magic Sphere, that's an enhancement item. A video on that if you want to check that out. That's a crafting item. Uh, I think it's called Cursed Weapons. Electret Hide. Or no, it's the enchantment system if you want to learn about that. I'll show you that real quick. Magic attack, sphere, or magic attack Sphere, you can use it on a weapon. Upgrade, you're using the Magic Attack Sphere, it's going to give you five more to your Magic Attack. I well, yeah. have a whole video on that, but thank you guys for watching. I'm kind of rambling and going off to the side here. You guys are awesome. Uh, keep sending me comments with suggestions on what kinds of videos you'd like to see. If you, have, if you get stuck in MV, I'll definitely help you out. Um, cool, thanks you guys for watching again. Remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe. It always helps the channel out. and lets me know you guys are interested in this. We'll see you in the next tutorial.